So we're live. Hello, peeps. <laughs> uh, it's Sunday night, and um, we're going to be talking about Mother Mary tonight. She's like one of my most favorite -er, uh, people to talk about. Hi, Di. How are ya? Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? Hey. So, um, we're going to talk about Mother Mary tonight. It's pretty cool. I love Mother Mary. She always helps you feel so much better. <laughs> so, uh, before we do that... Um, I just want, I just have some announcements to make and then while everybody kind of gathers and everything, I'm going to be giving away, hey, I'm going to be giving away some, um, Mary charms tonight too. So, um, oh, here it is. I thought it was organized. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. So hello. Hi, Alexis. Um, okay. So. This week on Thursday and Friday, or no, starting Thursday until uh, the 15th, um, the Goddess Trilogy is going to be free for Kindle people, uh, the Book of Isabel and the Book of Amber. So those two will be free, and I'll be posting them on social media and stuff. So they'll be on there. Hi, Mike. Um, so those are going to be up. You can check those out at arielgrace.net. Click on the author tab and scroll down, and you'll see them if you wanna. If you're interested in getting them, they're gonna be free. That's my other Christmas present for you. So um, that way you can download them. If you don't have a Kindle, you can still download the Kindle app and onto your tablet or phone or whatever. I've seen some phones. I saw this phone the other day. Oh my God, it was huge. So, um, <laughs> you can download the Kindle app and then download the book. Okay. All right. So for those of you who are looking for a psychic medium, um, my bro, my bro, psychic Theo, he's good for, he's good for assisting you with closure for those of, of you who have loved ones who have passed on. You can check him out at psychictheo.com. And then for those of you who want an astrology report, so you can check out what's going to happen next year, like when, who, what, where, how you should do things, um, you can go over to see Rock and Reverend Rhonda at karmiclaw.com. I don't make any decisions, big decisions, without talking to Rhonda first, okay? Hey, Mary Jo. So, um, yeah, so check that out. <laughs> so for those of you um, out there, a couple of you have asked me about Medical Intuitive. You can check out Marcella Z at MarcellaZ.com. All right, so she's an awesome Medical Intuitive. She's really a nice lady, and she's very compassionate. So um, you can check her out. All right, Medical Intuitive. Um, I'm not a Medical Intuitive when I, or uh, really a psychic medium. Um, what I do is I assist you with getting clear, clearing out old crap so that you can be present and you can assist yourself, you know. So that's that's my, my thing is to get you to a place where you're present and looking to your future. That's what I do. <laughs> so, um, and if you need to make an appointment with me, you can go to arielgrace.net. There's a contact me page just send me an email email is actually the best way to get a hold of me um so if you send me an email i'll respond back to you i don't normally use facebook messenger it if i see you pop up when i'm on facebook i'll um i'll message you back but otherwise the messages just kind of stack up so if you want to make an appointment with me please email me at a gang of girls inc at gmail.com and I'll get back to you, okay? We'll schedule you in. All right, because I'm not always on Facebook. Even though it's like it looks like I am, I'm not uh, <laughs> doing stuff. So um, please email me instead of messaging me, okay? All right, cool. Okay, so we're going to talk about Mother Mary tonight. Um, 
And I like to talk about Mother Mary in December because, hey, it's uh, the holiday season, right? So uh, a lot of people are like going to church or they're going and doing stuff. And um, I am not a Christian. <laughs> so I don't have the same beliefs as Christians, but I do... Um, I do honor like the ascended masters, the angels, the angelics, the um, those people that assist us. And Mary, hey Rebecca, um, hey Penny, Mary has um, assisted me a lot of times. I I usually pray uh, when I'm asking for assistance. I usually ask her for assistance, especially for life things. That's what I do. Uh, because she's always been able to intercede for me. She's always been able to assist me and guide me. And so I always try to honor her at Christmas time because um, it's her month too. <laughs> so um, tonight I'm going to be giving away um, some Mary charms. Okay. And uh, we're going to do that in a little while though. All right. Ah, they're Mary charms. They're really pretty. I couldn't believe it. I was like, woohoo. So I've got 10 of them here that I'm going to be giving away and, um, and that tonight. So that'll be fun for us. Got to spread the word about her. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Haley. All right. So, um, I had this whole radio show planned. <laughs> I had it all planned. And tonight before the show, like usually about three hours before the show, I sit down and I... I get quiet and I meditate and um, I asked Mary, I said, so, hey, uh, do you need me to put any more info into the show about you? And she was like, no, in fact, scratch the show. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, I've been working on it all week. So, um, so I scratched the show, I actually deleted it so I wouldn't go back and peek. Um, and she gave me a message, I'm going to read the message to you. Uh, but Mary is, um, we have to remember something about Mary. Like when I was little, I was raised Roman Catholic. Okay. And, uh, hey Hannah. And, um, as I got older, uh, I was really involved with the church. Um, I was very devoted and, uh, I was even thinking about becoming a nun. <laughs> but the mother superior said, no, you need to go out in the world. You're not hiding behind a convent. I was like, oh, great. So um, one of the things that always bothered me uh, in Catholicism and in other Christian um, religions is that women were cut down. And I was raised during a time where women were seeking their independence. They were burning bras. They were like <laughs> rocking it, you know. And so that's what I saw. I saw these women um, coming out. You know, they're saying, you know what, I want a career, I want to do this, I need to do this for myself. And I saw my mother, um, she went to school, she worked, um, she she did all of these things to assist herself too. So um, I decided that I was going to do some research on Mother Mary and Mary of Magdala, or Mary Magdalene, as you would call her, Mary Magdalene. And um, I started researching outside of the Bible um, because I just, um, I didn't agree with a lot of what the Bible said about women and how the Bible kind of treated women like we're second class citizens. I'm sorry, but I'm not a second class citizen. I'm not. So um, I started looking around and I did a lot of research. And um, one of the things that are... Christian faith forget is that Mary was actually Jewish. <laughs> the whole family was Jewish. They were all Jews. <laughs> and um, they, they went through, they worked through their Jewish faith, you know. Uh, they did a lot of things. Mary did a lot of things. She supported um, her family. She supported her family, especially her son, by uh, their whole community, you know, by making sure that that he and his disciples had places to live. Um, they had money or things to trade. They had food, you know, so she was part of his support system. She was also like this very humble person. Uh, she, she was 
a humble servant of God. And if you like connect with Mary, um, you'll hear her say that, that she's a humble servant for God. And that is like so beautiful, don't you think? So, um, so at, in my research, I found that she was quite independent. She did do a lot of um, wonderful things for people. And did Mary's mother, Anna, also receive immaculate conception? No, she did not. Anna did not receive immaculate conception. She was married to her husband for quite some time. Yeah. She, um, yeah, I love, I love the, and Anna's, Mary's mother, Anna, St. Anne, who was a patron saint of children, um, she was actually past childbearing years when she conceived Mary. You're welcome, Rebecca. Yeah. She was past childbearing. So, so it was a whole miracle that she even had Mary. And then um, Mary's conception of Jesus or Yeshua, that was an immaculate conception. She conceived through the Holy Spirit. So that's that's how she, that that was her conception, and and um, you know the archangel Gabriel came and let her know what was going to happen. So she knew what was going to happen, and she said yes, um, because she is a humble and devoted servant of God, and that's what she says. So she's been around the world, you know. She has helped a lot of people. She shows up in different places. Um, she doesn't really, well, she does show up in the United States, but we don't see her because we don't expect it. Um, but if you look in all, a lot of third world countries, you're going to see stories of miracles because of Mary or something happened near her statue or something happened near her church, you know. So there's, um, if you, if you follow news or anything like that, you'll see these these wonderful miracles that happen uh, because people pray to her and they ask her for her intercession. And that's what she calls it, intercession. She calls it that. Uh, so when you pray to Mother Mary, you're asking her for assistance. She will intercede for you. Side note, that heart was from Jack, my dog. He pawed my phone. <laughs> well, I love Jack too. <laughs> So, um, so with that being said, you know, she was, uh, a, she wasn't made a saint right away. She wasn't, uh, even though she is the mother of Jesus and she was this great, awesome woman that promoted her son and helped her son. Um, and there isn't really a lot of things written about her in the Bible because really the Bible is about, the New Testament is about Jesus. And his works but she did um, she did encourage him to do what he does okay all right so um, so I'll never and like I've said before I'll never tell you to stop believing the way you're believing because however it is that you're believing rock on with your bad self you know you go you do it all right I'm just um, I uh, I myself, I always, and I always tell you guys, I'm not a Christian, and but I do, um, I do pray and I do uh, work with angelics and the Marys. So um, it's really a cool thing. It's really cool to go from Christianity to um, to like connecting to them in a different way, and it's still humbling to be able to connect with Mary. And to be able to uh, give her messages out. So tonight what she wanted me to do is um, I have a message for you that I'm going to read. And then she also wanted me to do this meditation that I've done before. I used to do it in Chicago a lot. Um, it's connecting to your sacred heart. So we're going to connect to our sacred hearts because everyone has a sacred heart. They've got that right in the middle of their heart chakra. And um, so we're going to connect. We're going to assist with the connection of that. And then that way you can connect into it and you can feel that like love and compassion that she has because she does. She has a lot of love and compassion. A lot of people say, well, you know, there's so many bad things happening in the world. 
Um, why doesn't Mary come and just like make it all good? Well, here's the thing. This is a free will planet, right? Okay, so because it's a free will planet, um, people have to ask for, for assistance. And people also have to be open to receive that assistance. However, which way it comes, because it may come from you, for you, that assistance may come for you, like in a weird and crazy way that you may be not, you know, not are expecting it, or maybe you wouldn't do it that way, but maybe it's also with the assistance, there's a lesson for you, right? So um, think of it like that. When you're asking for assistance, be open to receive it. That's why I always say, be open to receive your messages, um, your assistance, your intercession. <laughs> so um, there's been a lot of times in my life when I've asked Mary for assistance and she's come through. Like, you know, it might not have been right in the moment, but she does come through and she assists me. And I always know it's her because of the smells. Like you can smell her when uh, she's around. Usually she smells like roses or lilies. When I've channeled Mary before, the whole room smells like roses. So um, if you want like to do something nice for her, burn a rose candle, rose oil, roses, rosemary, um, lilies. Uh, if you want, you know, as an offering for her, uh, I have a couple statues of Mary that I keep on my altar only because you know, she's one of the gals that assists me. Okay, so if you want to say thank you to her, you can do those things for her. She loves that. That's something that, um, that's her, you know, it is. It's pretty awesome. So um, if you want her assistance, also you can do that too. You can, you can um, remember rose, roses, rose oil, rosemary, uh, lilies, okay. So tonight, when you're doing the meditation, if you start smelling roses, you're rocking it, okay? Hi, Theo. Hey, bro. All right. So um, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the uh, her message, but I also want to tell you too. Um, for those of you, I only have ten of these. Okay, so I have ten. <laughs> I'm gonna make this really easy for you. Because <laughs> I was like, how do I do this? Uh, but I have 10 of these. So the first 10 people who email me their snail mail address over at a gang of girls inc at gmail.com, you get a pendant. So again, and I'll, I'll repeat this too. Um, if you email me your snail mail address, a gang of girls inc at gmail.com, I only have 10 of these pendants. So send them over. Send it over so I can mail these out. I'll mail them out on Monday. All right. So um, I'll let you know again after I read this message. Um, so uh, the other thing, too, is there are some people that say, oh, you know, um, I'm not good enough for Mary to help me. You are. You're good enough. Mm-hmm. Because she doesn't see people as good, bad, or indifferent. She doesn't see people as being better than or whatever. That's not her, that's not her deal. Her deal is to assist you. You have to ask for it. Remember, she is a humble and devoted servant of God. Okay? All right. So, um, and, you know, uh, there are some people that call her Mary Ann, Miriam, or Miriam. So, because there's a lot of Marys back in the day. That was like a really popular name, Mary. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, okay. So, she is the patron saint of all human beings. And she watches over them. Okay, so ask her for assistance. Um, so, we're going to be working with the Immaculate Heart. So, the Immaculate Heart of Mary is a devotion name. A devotional name used to refer to the interior life of the Blessed Virgin Mother. Her joys and her sorrows, her virtues and hidden per perfections, and above all, her, her love for God the Father. Her maternal love for her son 
and her compassion and love for all people. Okay, so this is her actual message that she, she gave me. Yeah. So on this night, I wish you to remember your own goodness and perfections and how you reflect it into the world. This is what the Immaculate or Sacred Heart is. All of you are connected to each other, and so you are connected to myself and my family. With that being said, in your connection to me, you also contain or have a Sacred Heart within you all. Tonight we will guide you to connect to this part of you so you can have this experience of seeing how wondrous and sacred you yourselves are. What you need to know of my life is that I was a woman. I was a mother and a wife. I was and am a humble servant of God before all of my human obligations. As a human servant of God, I'm here also to assist mankind with your faith, love, and wonder. There is so much to discover about living and being alive. It is our hope to awaken a part of you tonight so you can see how miraculous life is every day, every moment. If you wish for my intercession, call upon me to intercede, intercede for you. I will give you I will, I will be as ready for you, um, I am as ready for you as you are for my assistance. Be love, be at peace, Mary. So that is her message, and I'll put that up, I'll post that, like on a gang girls radio page, so you can read it again. <laughs> That way you can see it and if you want, you can copy it or whatever. But um, that is her message for you tonight. And um, that way, you know, you have you have a little bit of what she says. She's not um, a lot of a lot of uh, religions in that depict her as as whacking sinners, but she really doesn't talk about sinners or sinning. What she talks about is how we can better ourselves in and in a place of love. And so that's that's what she is. She's like love and hope and peace and serenity. You know, she's so many things. So um, yeah. So again, for those of you who um, I have ten of these medals, Mother Mary medals. These medals came from Lords. France, and um, that's one of her places, Lourdes, France, as well as uh, Fatima, Portugal. Um, but these are these are from Lourdes, and um, I have ten of them. So the first ten people who email me at a gang of girls inc at gmail dot com, send me your snail mail address, and I'll mail them out to you tomorrow Monday. Okay, okay. So we're going to do this Sacred Heart Meditation. I used to do it in um, Chicago. It's not a very long meditation, but, um, you know, if you start to feel, if you feel like you're crying, you want to cry, cry. If you feel like laughing, laugh. Um, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, making a really deep connection to your heart chakra and probably clearing a little bit out of your heart chakra too. So... Um, <laughs> so find a nice place to sit down and relax and, um, where it's quiet so that you can do this meditation. If you need to do the meditation, remember, uh, I always put the Facebook live events. They're up on YouTube and they're also on the website at, at arielgrace.net and click on a gang of girls radio and scroll down. You'll see all the Facebook live event videos and you'll be able to do um the meditation there uh if i have time i'll see if i can do them i'll make i'll 
make a video of the meditation itself. I don't think I have that on the, on my website right now. So, um, again, we're going to be connecting to our sacred hearts, uh, with Mary, mother Mary. It's already starting to smell <laughs> good in here. <laughs> so, uh, that's how I know she's like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so if you're all ready, let's do this. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Take a nice deep breath. Take another deep breath. We're going to clear your energy field. And then we're going to go straight to the heart chakra. And then you'll be guided to connect within. Okay. Okay. So, ready? It's going to be really fun. Hi, whoever's popped in. I can see the green, but I can't see anything else. <laughs> so, we're going to do the Sacred Heart Meditation. We're connecting to our heart chakras. We're going to connect to the Sacred Heart. For those of you who are just joining. So, take a nice deep breath. Take another deep breath. And on the exhale, you'll see a vortex form at your feet. And with each breath that you take, the vortex spins faster and faster, cleaning and clearing your energetic field with each breath that you take as the vortex spins faster and faster. And the vortex moves up over your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your hips. With each breath that you take, the vortex spins faster and faster cleaning and clearing your energetic field, pushing out all thoughts, energies, and emotions that are no longer serving you. With each breath that you take, as the vortex spins faster and faster, moving up over the core of your being, your shoulders, your neck, and your head. And once the vortex gets up to your head, release it to the universe. Now, take a deep breath and breathe in your favorite color of the day, whatever color that may be. And breathe it in all the way down to the insides of your toes, filling each toe, your feet, your ankles, filling your calves with that wondrous color. Filling your knees, your thighs, your hips, filling the core of your being, allowing the color to clean and clear your cellular structure, bringing it back into perfection. And watch as the color cascades down your arms and into your fingertips, filling each finger, the palms of your hands, your wrists, up to your elbows, your shoulders, your neck, and your head. And you fill yourself up so much, you can see the color coming out. The tips of your hair, your eyebrows, your eyelashes, 
your fingernails and toenails and the pores of your skin. Now, take a deep breath and connect to your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is in the middle of your chest. It is pink or green or pink and green. Remember, it's a tube, so it's in the middle of your chest. It goes out the front and then out the back. So we're connecting to the heart chakra. So when you're connected to the heart chakra, breathe light into it. Breathe light into the chakra. And as you breathe light into the chakra, you'll start to feel the energy move back and forth. And as you're breathing light into the chakra, you fill it with light. And as you fill the light, the chakra with light, you can feel that energy move back and forth. And as soon as the chakra is full, you'll start to feel the energy of love move through you and all around you. Now, within the chakra, you will see a bright light. It is singular. It's like a pinpoint. Connect with the bright light within your chakra. And as you connect with that bright light, breathe light into it. Breathe light into the chakra and then into the light within the chakra. This is your sacred heart. This is a place of true love, unconditional love, love. It is a place where you can heal your heart, your soul, clear yourself so you know your purpose, Breathe light into it. And as you breathe light into it, you may feel yourself expanding. If you have an emotional release, allow it. Is what the Sacred Heart does is it allows. It assists you with allowing. Allowing you to be you. Who you are. Who you were meant to be. It takes you to a place of deep love. Love for the self. And love for humans.
Continue to breathe light into your sacred heart. Allow that heart to expand like your heart chakra. Clearing the heart chakra. Remember the heart is your mediator. It is a place where the energy comes up from your lowers into your heart and it connects your uppers. It is the middle place. It's one of the most important places in your body, your heart, your love, love of self and love of others. Yeah. So when you feel filled up and you feel that sacred heart activated, you'll start to feel calmer, more accepting of yourself, more loving of yourself. Yeah. Very good. Remember to call upon us when you pray, when you ask for assistance. We're always here for you, always. Good night. <laughs> Snuck in. Okay, so now that your heart chakra is full, and you've connected to that sacred heart area, you're probably gonna feel expanded if you have an emotional release, allow it. If you feel, if you smell flowers or roses, yay. <laughs> and remember this week um, to light a candle for Mother Mary or get her some flowers something do something for her something wonderful for her because i have a feeling she was here right <laughs> just pops in hey <laughs> so allow that energy of that really deep connected love to flow through you and all around you because it will truly assist you with healing wherever you are wherever you need healing okay and ask Mother Mary for your for her assistance because she will assist you. She's awesome like that. All right? Okay, so for those of you who want a Mother Mary um, medal, please go to a gang of girls inc at gmail.com. Send me an email with your snail mail address so that I can get these mailed out. Okay, I only have 10 of them. So that'll be fun for you. Yes, yeah, she was here, huh, Rebecca? <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Um, so, hey, Joanne, for those of you who missed the meditation, um, I'm going to be uploading this video tonight. I'll be uploading it tomorrow morning on YouTube and over on a gang of or arielgrace.net um, webpage. So, uh, you'll be able to do the meditation tomorrow. Uh, she's pretty rocking, Mother Mary <laughs> snuck in. So, um, and then I'll also put her message up um, on Facebook tonight on the Gang, uh, Gang of Girls radio page. So, it'll go up there. I think, yeah, I'll probably do it tonight. So, uh, that way you can read the message yourself and you can see it. And if you need it to like, need to copy and paste it somewhere so you can look at it again, you can. Um, she's pretty awesome and pretty powerful. And her biggest message always is to love, just to love. Love yourself first so that you can love others. See your perfections in you. So you can see the perfections of others. Yeah? Okay. Because that's like, you know, that's the best thing. Also remembering too, you have to ask for help. Got to ask for it because this is a free will planet. You decided to come here to experience free will. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> 
So, um, just let me know if, uh, if you need assistance with this meditation or if you have some wonky things that happen. Because <laughs> sometimes people have wonky things. They cry. Sometimes people cry for a while, you know, afterwards. So, and it's okay. It's just a release. Just letting, letting go of your goo and cooties. Gotta let go of your goo and cooties, right? It's a good way to do it. Why not? All right. So next week we'll be talking about like the, the holidays and um, the history of the holidays and what people do during the holidays and that. And uh, it'll be a fun thing. Let me know what you do for the holidays and I will share it. Okay, so you can email that to me too at a gang of girls inc at gmail.com. Let me know your traditions because I like to read about traditions. I think it's really cool to know how people love each other during the holidays. Remember to, if you can afford to, please donate to a charity. Find a charity that you love. You don't have to donate money. Maybe you can donate things in your house that you don't need anymore. You know, so remember to give that love. Practice, practice, practice. That way you're giving love all the time, right? Yeah. All right. So I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Um, this is Ariel Grace. And please keep your hearts open and align with the energy of love. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.